I bought and used the Aura Ring for two weeks before ultimately deciding to send it back. In this video, I'm going to talk about the reasons for which I sent this back and hopefully will help you decide if this is the right piece of health tech for you. Hi everyone, my name is Maddie Miles and for anyone who is new here, I am a clinical herbalist and I specialize in women's health. Everything we do over here is all natural and focused and rooted in herbal medicine. So if you're new here, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back. I am also the founder of Peace Love Hormones and co-founder of Mystic Mastic Gum, two amazing herbal companies. I will link up special discount codes for you if you're interested in checking them out in the description of this video. Okay, so chances are if you're watching this video, you're already familiar with the Aura Ring. This is it. If you're watching this on YouTube, then you'll see exactly what it looks like. This is not my ring. This is Braxton, my boyfriend's ring. He is one of the OG Aura Ring uh, users. So this is his ring. He's letting me borrow it for the sake of this video. He doesn't really wear his a lot anymore either, but that's besides the point. So this is a health and wellness fitness tracker that you wear on your finger. And on their website, this is how they describe it. It is a smart ring that provides round the clock insights into sleep, fitness, and stress for wellness. The Aura Ring is also partnered with Natural Cycles for fertility tracking, which is why I was intrigued to try this ring in the first place. Aura Ring has been around for a few years and their partnership with Natural Cycles is one that's a little bit more recent within the last 12 or so months. So before that, I wasn't really interested in partaking in this new health and wellness device and fitness tracking because I feel like my days with fitness tracking are are long gone, long beyond me, and I let my intuition guide me now. But I was really intrigued by the fertility tracking partnership. I track my basal body temperature every single day. I will talk about the device that I use in this video because I've been using it for years. I love it. I highly recommend it. However, I was interested in having something that was on your finger. It was a wearable that would always be tracking your biomarkers such as your HRV um, and just to see how everything changes throughout our menstrual cycle. Okay, so let's get into the main reasons for why I sent back my Aura Ring. So number one, I want to talk about the step and fitness tracking capability of this ring. I don't believe that this is necessary for everyone, especially for anyone who is struggling with anorexia or an eating disorder or orthorexia or just any sort of obsessiveness with movement and how much we are moving our bodies versus how much food we are eating. I think that devices like these can be really detrimental to our emotional and mental health if we're struggling with that. And I speak from personal experience of years and years struggling in my younger life with an eating disorder, with orthorexia, you name it. I was struggling with it, chances are. So I was really obsessed with the the fitness watches that would track all of our movements and calories in and calories out. I have since then, a handful of years ago, graduated, so to say, from that. So it is something to note about not just the Aura Ring, but all fitness trackers. I think that it can be very helpful for those who would like that encouragement to move our bodies, especially if we're working at a nine to five desk job. It's, it is a nice reminder to get up and to move our bodies a little bit every single hour. That being said, I don't believe that we all need this fitness tracker or a similar fitness tracker. I think we all just have to assess if that is the healthiest choice for us, if it will help us to achieve our ultimate health and happiness and freedom, or if it will be a little bit binding and restrictive for us. So it's just something to keep in mind. Side note, while we are talking about the fitness tracking specifically, I want to mention that my steps actually weren't tracking properly anyway. And I didn't really mind that much again, because I'm you know, not relying on this ring and the app that it's connected to, to tell me how much I've moved throughout a day. But I did out of curiosity, look at some online forums and a lot of those forums were essentially saying the same thing, that they too would notice that their steps were off, whether their steps were over counting or under counting. So I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it was just still calibrating. 
Not sure, but I just noticed it wasn't really tracking my movements properly. Number two, which is not really anything unique to Aura Ring specifically, it's pretty common nowadays, but the app subscriptions. I just feel like if you're going to purchase something that is so expensive, right? Like you're talking three to 400 bucks, depending on which style you get and uh, the, the color and the finish of it. You're spending a couple hundred dollars. You would expect that the app would be free. It would come with the device, but Aura Ring, I guess, originally had a free app. And I know this because again, my boyfriend has been one of the original Aura Ring purchasers. So he was grandfathered into the free app. But if you have bought an Aura Ring within the last at least a year or so, you were not grandfathered in. So you do pay a monthly subscription fee. It's not crazy expensive, but also that's pretty arbitrary. And it's a, a subscription fee nonetheless. And then on top, of that if you are a woman and you want to track your fertility and you want to therefore use their partnership app with natural cycles their partnership with the app natural cycles you're going to have to pay another app fee so if you buy natural cycles their very own fertility tracker then their app is free however if you buy the aura ring and you want to use their app you're going to have to pay for their app subscription so not only do you have to pay for this ring but you have to pay for monthly subscriptions for two separate apps so that was a little bit frustrating for sure because my current uh, basal body thermometer fertility tracker is number one half the price of this now granted it doesn't track as much as the aura ring and i will definitely give credit whenever credit is due and the aura ring does track a lot and it's pretty remarkable what this little tiny ring on your finger can do my fertility tracker the daisy thermometer i love it it does not track all of these things. It is solely used to track your BBT and you take your BBT underneath your tongue when you first wake up in the morning before you move out of bed. That is very, very important before you move out of bed and after you've had at least three hours of consecutive sleep. However, the device is less than half of the amount of the Aura Ring and their app subscription is just completely free if you have their device. So that was just something that kind of annoyed me and frustrated me. I understood, okay, Aura Ring, they need to charge for their own app subscription, but to see that then you would have to pay, I would have to pay another app subscription for the natural cycles, that was a little frustrating. Okay, next, let's talk about the sleep function. So a lot of people love using the Aura Ring to track their sleep, to see how much REM sleep and deep sleep they're getting every single night, as well as just the total amount of in bed and asleep time. Now, this is something that has actually really kept me away from trying the Aura Ring for the last few years, because as someone who struggled with insomnia for a very long time and therefore struggled with being very granular and obsessive with all things sleep. I did not want to have something that's tracking my sleep where I open up the app every single morning, see how well I slept or how well I didn't sleep, and then let that really guide my day. So when I bought the Aura Ring, I knew that I wanted to make sure I did not check my sleep scores first thing in the morning, and instead I would wait until the end of the day to check my sleep scores this is something that I recommend every single person does who has the Aura Ring or any other device that tracks your sleep to wait until at least noon, preferably later in the afternoon or maybe like I did right before you're going to bed the next night to check your sleep score then. If you're checking your sleep score right when you wake up in the morning and it's not the best score, you're essentially programming your mind to think that for the rest of the day, you are going to be struggling a little bit because you didn't sleep the best. So maybe it's also not the best to check that sleep score right before bed the following night because then you may psychologically be thinking, I really, really need to sleep well tonight and then you're putting more pressure on yourself to sleep well. So I would say either don't check your sleep scores at all or if that's something that you're really interested in and one of the main reasons why you're using the Aura Ring, then obviously check your sleep scores if you'd like, but make sure to do it later on in the day. Lastly, I will say one of the reasons why I decided to send back my aura ring was because I didn't really like how it looked or liked how it felt on my finger. So I've talked to some people who have shared both of these concerns with me and I've talked to plenty of people, including my boyfriend, who did not care for how it felt or looked on their hand. They were totally fine with it. So take that one with a grain of potassium and in fact, take everything that I've said during this short video and episode with a grain of potassium because my experience is my experience and you may have a totally different experience with your aura ring currently or if you do end up purchasing an aura ring, you 
you may have a very different experience than me. So we're all different. We're all unique here. So ultimately, I decided to send back my Aura Ring due to the app subscription fees, the comfort, and just because I was overall not that impressed with the ring. Now, because I love to end on a positive note, I will say that I have talked to many women who absolutely love the fertility tracking. Again, fertility tracking, you can also call it BBT, which stands for basal body temperature tracking. This helps us understand where we're at in our cycle and our fertile window and when that fertile window is done and we're then in the luteal phase. So I've talked to many women who've absolutely loved the partnership that Aura has with Natural Cycles and they say that it makes tracking their cycle and fertility awareness so much easier for them. So I think we all kind of share the frustration that it's just like another app subscription fee, but at the end of the day, we have to weigh out the pros and cons. As long as there are more pros for you, then well, that's amazing. So I would say keep the ring if the app subscription fee is worth the ease and peace of mind of having your fertility tracker on you all night and even all day long. And like I said in the beginning of this episode, we are all unique individuals and at unique parts of our health journey. So if you feel like an aura ring or another health device is going to benefit and boost your health, then I say do it, especially as long as we always keep in mind that our intuition and our own unique energy levels and how everything is changing day to day should always be the driving factor for how we take care of ourselves in any given day, then I think that having something like this can be really neat to see what's going on beneath the surface. Again, as long as we don't have too much attachment to the numbers on the app, then it can be a healthy device. In conclusion, I know many people who have had a fantastic experience with the Aura Ring and some people who haven't. So take my advice and my experience with a grain of potassium and let me know in the comments below if you have an Aura Ring or previously had an Aura Ring and what your experience has been. If you haven't tuned into my previous episodes, I highly recommend doing so. Hopefully I will see you over there and until next time, peace, love, hormones.